all right hello everyone and shalom everybody peace of the lord to all of you i hope my voice coming good and clear please let me know if you have any problem from your side uh, today as you see in the screen we have a muslim sheikh he is a shia and in case you do not know shia and sunni there is too many sect you know like we say shia sunni but doesn't mean really shia is just one sect they are like a billion trillion sect nobody knows how many they are uh, and you know one of the unique thing about Islam anyone he grow a beard he create his own sick and uh, you know the Sunni call themselves Sunni the Shia call themselves Shia but the second you start asking them questions you will find that the Shia they deny the Shia the Sunni deny the, the Sunni and the Sunni they want to kill the other Sunnis because not everybody Sunni is Sunni we have to kill the ones who is not like us so every Muslim sect is an enemy for the other sect and today is just an example to show you how stupid this cult is. Now, before I start, uh, I want to offer those who follow this man, uh, if he dare to challenge me, he claimed that the Christians, they run away from him. Which I find very funny and very stupid of him to say, because you agree with us on everything. You agree that Muhammad is stupid. I mean, I can show them how many times you call Muhammad a bad name. How many times you made fun of Allah. You call him the, the God Abu al-Bas, the, the, God, the God with underwear. Uh, and you are going to debate the Christians about what? What's your, what is your book? So now this uh, this video here, uh, he is challenging Muslims to call him Muslim Sunni, to call him and to prove that the Quran they have is a true Quran. Well, what, what's your Quran? You, you the, the guy, the Amir. His name is Amir. So what is your Quran? Do you have a Quran? They don't have a Quran. <laughs> So this is how stupid this this is stupid religion. So let us see. I'm going to translate for you, uh, just to show you how stupid this religion is. All right. The, the Muslim guy he said to him, "Assalamu ala ma yattaba al huda." Uh, 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 beast for those who follow the the guidance. The Muslim Shia, they make fun of the Sunni and they say, okay, salam for those who follow Huda. But Huda here, in this case, he is speaking about a girl. Her name is Huda. So here you see that the Sheikh, he is just a mockery person. He is making fun of the Sunni, but in fact, he is the same. You know, he's a, he's a low class. Uh, like the guy, he said, uh, peace for those who follow guidance. Right away, he's making mockery of the guy. Like, Oh, okay, peace for those who follow Huda, and he love. Shia, you know, Shia are very sneaky, and they try to make themselves look like they are smart, so like right away he start making fun of the guy. So the guy, he said to him, don't you know that you are making fun of what I said? But don't you know that this is a verse in the Quran? <laughs> so right away, look at this. <laughs> oh boy. The Muslim Sunni guy, he is, you know, obviously the Muslim Sunni until now do not know that those Shia is different, you know, they are coming from different religion and there is a reason for that. Obviously, the stupid Quran does not exist. And he is right to laugh at it. Uh, but in the same time, he claimed to be a sheikh. So how you become a sheikh if you don't have a book? Like, you are qualified to be called sheikh by following which book? You are now having your station and your followers and uh, okay based on what if there is a book you follow no so you how you know Allah how you know Muhammad how you know Ali how you know all those people you worship you have no book those people they claim that one day Allah will reveal the true Quran <laughs> one day <laughs> So if I were to debate this idiot, I would debate him about which book. He would deny any book I will show him. 
I'll call that. Which book is your book? We have no books. Shia are sneaky people. No dignity. Oh, hold on. The stupid website. He is making fun of Huda. If we search this word in the in the Quran, we will find it all over. And now the guy is challenging him. What are you talking about? Why you are making fun of it? You know, are you making fun of the Quran? But the Muslim Sunni, he is not aware. Maybe actually, I mean, the whole title of the video is "Prove to me that the Quran you have is true." So he's saying to me to him. Why you are making fun of the Quran? Let us see what uh, what next will say. He says, "Okay, what about uh, peace for those who follow Muna? Muna is the name of a female. He's just making mockery of the guy." Okay. حلو حلو كلامك جميل لأن عثمان قال أن القرآن محرف وابن مسعود شهيدة وابن عباس شهيدة في الصحيحين عندكم ولذلك. He's saying with Uthman. The Caliphate, he witnessed that the Quran you have is the Quran. He did not say you have. The Quran is corrupt. And this is mentioned in the most authentic, the two authentic uh, uh, for the Muslim Sunni and for the Muslims in general. So it's proven that the Quran is a corruption, he's saying to him. So we have, we open uh, the door for discussion about the Quran which you have is true. So he said he will start. He asked him, Where are you from? He said, I'm from Syria. He said, Don't ask me now. You don't have right to ask me right now. But you know, like he wanted him to, to prove the Quran. Don't ask, just prove the Quran for us. Give me proofs that the Quran is authentic and I will answer you. So he is now trying to prove to him the Quran. He says, Allah, He preserved the Quran by uh, uh, designating people to, to do so. Uh, the same as we have something called the studying the the, the, the hadith which means like how the hadith is can be approved or not we have the same for the Quran we have the books about this and everybody can read it he is saying he is using a phone line uh, he have like a credit you know if he lost his credit don't think he is running away it might be because he lost his credit I oh, saying okay. Call me through Telegram or Viber if you wish. I WhatsApp. Okay, go to the topic. I don't want to hear this. The Viber and WhatsApp. So the guy he says, there is a verse in the Quran that says, "Inna alayna jamahu wa Quranahu." The Sheikh, the Shia Sheikh, he whispers, saying, "Inna inna ala Uthman jamahu wa Quranahu." He's making fun of the Quran, and he's right about this, because if Allah uh, is the one who's supposed to collect the Quran, who is uh, who is Uthman? You know. Uh, Uthman is not that the Quran says it is on Uthman 
uh, to collect the Quran? No. So this is an argument. He's making fun of the Quran. Let us continue. لا إن علينا جمعة وعثمان إن علينا جمعة وعثمان في سوق الجمعة هو منو اللي إن علينا يعني عثمان هو الله بس بس الملاحظة ملاحظة أنا شفت لك فيديوهات من قبل ما يصير عم تتمسخر على ما يصير شفت لك شفت أخي كريم let me translate he said what is this you know you are telling me this is عثمان عثمان is the one who collected the Quran so that the verse says it is uh, he's making fun of the Quran now, saying no, look like the Quran said it is on us, Uthman, to collect the Quran and to preserve the Quran. And the other guy he said to him, You are making mockery. He said, Okay, what well, is what the, you know the, what is the proof that this verse is even true? And if it's true, how how it is Uthman the one who did that? أخي كريم شفت لك أخي كريم شفت لك شفت لي إحنا ما مطيرين طيور يا عيوني أنت يا عزيزي إن علينا جمعة وعثمان بسوق الجمعة هو إن علينا جمعة he's making fun again he says ah إن علينا جمعة this is something somebody will say in a Friday market Friday market is uh, you know in, in the Islamic countries is where the thief meet so Muslim thieves who steal product from houses stores they have, uh, you know, uh, a place where they meet and they sell their, like, stolen birds to a stolen chicken. So he's making fun again of the Quran. He's saying there's something you can tell for, for those who they are gathering in a Friday market. There's no proof that this verse is even exist. I mean, do you see how, 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 how stupid this religion? The other guy is struggling to prove that this is really from the Quran. And there is a reason to struggle because there is no proof. The Muslim, they have the Quran we have in front of us. There is no proof of its existence. Nobody have it. They don't even have a one single manuscript. هو عثمان يا اخي انت انت مو عم تدري انه بدك النقاش يكون علمي؟ اي علمي، انت تقول الان انه النبي عليه الصلاه والسلام مات والله عز وجل قال له ان علينا جمعه وعثمان، طيب هو عثمان هو الله؟ سو هي سين اذا القران سين ات از ات از اون عثمان تو كولكت ات، از ات عثمان از الله؟ اف ذا قران ات سيز اون الله تو كولكت ذا قران، از عثمان از الله؟ اند ذيس از ا كويشن وي اسك ذا مسلم سني اولويز and all the Muslims. Allah said he will collect the Quran. Is Uthman is Allah? Is Uthman is Allah? Don't tell me. He's the other guy, he said, no, he's not. So he said, okay, good. He said to him, did Allah commanded Uthman to collect the Qur'an? <clears throat> the guy, uh, the Muslim Sunni guy, he says, all the nation have duty to preserve the Qur'an. But he just quote for us, just to show you how stupid those Muslim Sunni. He just quote for us a verse saying, Allah, it is on Allah to preserve the Qur'an. So how it is on Allah to preserve the Qur'an, and now all the Muslim, they have a duty to preserve the Qur'an. You see how they switch? A second ago, this Muslim Sunni, the caller, he told him this verse. And this verse stating that the one who will collect the Quran, preserve the Quran is Allah. No one else. So the Shia Sheikh who is making fun of Aisha, he keep calling her a whore actually. He make fun of her vagina. He claimed that she have it in the wrong direction. She claim, he claim uh, actually is is making claim yeah but I mean is it, this is all written in their books you know it's not like just uh, from nothing so he's right somehow so who is the one who collect the Quran Uthman according to Muslim Sunni is is him is it him who Allah named to collect the Quran or the Quran saying it's on us it's not even in Muhammad Allah did not say to Muhammad even collect the Quran. Allah himself did not say to Muhammad, collect the Qur'an. He said, it is me, Allah, I will collect the Qur'an. And I will preserve the Qur'an. 
So the challenge now, how Uthman become the one who replaced us, which is Allah, became Uthman instead of us. <laughs> See the guy saying Hafzul Quran, the Shia Sheikh is making again mockery. He says Hamdul Quran, Hamad in Arabic means like acid or DNA. So he will say to him, Are you talking about Hamd Nawawi? Like the DNA? Hamdul Quran, Shinu Hamdul, Hamdul Nawawi, the Quran will Shinu. See the, the sheikh, he is a sheikh, yes, he dressed like a sheikh, but he have a teen, he's a teen Asian at the same time. I mean, the guy, he is saying to you, the preservation of the Quran, while you are making it about DNA and making fun and mockery, he cannot stay. You see, in order of this guy, the Shia, in order to show themselves that they are smart and the Muslim Sunni, they are stupid, they do mockery. If you remember, when, uh, when uh, Muhammad Hijab and the Sunni do the same, when Muhammad Hijab was debating David Wood, what was the method to make it sound like the Muslims are winners? Mokari. They have no answer. And when they answer, they lie. So uh, what he said to him, your God Allah have a, a hand, your God Allah have a foot, have a body part, uh, Mimi Hijab. He laughed at him. He says, who said so? That's it. Solve the problem. And because we did not know how to debate, he says, you know, instead of saying to him, the Quran says so, <laughs> your prophet says so, yeah, you know, but he does not know how to debate. So, who said so? Uh, David Wood, he says, the Muslims, they fight over the spit of Muhammad. David, uh, 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 Muhammad Hijabi answer, saying, so, <laughs> so now I'm God now? I'm God? Mokari. The question is, why are you Muslims fighting over his spit or his boogers? How the answer? Mockery. <laughs> so I'm God now? So I spit? I'm God? That's not the question. The question, if you don't worship Muhammad, why are you are fighting over his spit? So always when you debate the Muslims, you need to be ready for a people of mockery. They are satanic. If they notice that you are a person who speak nicely, kindly, they will take advantage of you. So the only way to debate with those trash, like this guy, is to be trashy with them, sadly. Speaking with nice and respect, they will take they will take over you and they will make fun of you and they will make mockery. And now if you watch the chat of the Shia, they are so excited how silly, stupid the Sunni. But they did not ask themselves, how silly their sheikh is. What DNA? Why you are making mockery of something? He did not say, say anything yet. Can't you talk seriously? No, he cannot. And yet he's a sheikh. <laughs> he's saying, look, the, the guy, the Muslim Sunni said, okay, so you are making of this verse. The Shia said, oh, okay, no, no, you need to know that this verse is exist in the other Mus'hafs too. So he's making fun of all the books, not only this Uthman book. Any Quran book is a joke. And I agree with him. All of them is a joke. See here, when the Muslim Sunni, he want to corner the Shia, the Shia refused to be cornered. He says, don't ask me, don't tell me what my book says. Tell me about your book. So he don't want him to tell because, you know, you have the same religion. This is not a different religion. Those Shia, they believe in something called Imam Masum, which means he don't do error or sin. He's perfect. So they are pagan, you know, the Shia are pagan. They believe that a man, a normal man, just because he is the Imam, he is perfect, and he commit no sin, neither an error. He's God. This is why the Shia in Iran, they obey the Khomeini as their God. The Khomeini, he is gone. Then the one who took over after him, he became the Imam. 
He is a ma'soom. Ma'soom mean he don't make error. He don't make mistakes. He is perfect. He's God in earth. So he's saying to him, isn't it your imam says you have to take this Quran? He said, don't talk about what my imam says. And here you see the hypocrisy. And instead of answering him about what his imam, what he's, why you don't say to him, show me where my imam says so. يا عيوني انت لا تغير الموضوع حتى ما ادخل على عائشه و... وتدري اغير التغريده جدا قويه اطشر لك لك سو هي سيد تو هيم ذا ار ديسكشن اباوت ذا قران رايت اواي هي ستارت سين اوكي دونت دونت تشينج ذا توبيك اذروايز اي ويل جو اند اي ويل بوست سمثينغ اباوت عائشه ويل ميك يو سو ابسيت وات دس هاف تو دو وذ ذس فيري لو كلاس تراشي بيرسون لاي ذا ريست اوف ذيم المشاهدين والمشاهدات جي لك ما عليك بالامام المعصوم انت الان من كتبك من دينك من ربك من نبيك من صحابتك تثبت لي ان القران عندك انت في دينك صحيح انا راح اثبت لك انه محرف به زياده وبه he says don't worry about my what imam says tell me from your books prove to me quran is true and i will prove to you the opposite في نقصان طيب انت اجيت على ان علينا جمعه وعثمان هذه الايه ان علينا جمعه وعثمان في سوق الجمعه هذه موجوده في مصحف عائشه موجوده في مصحف ابن he said this verse about It is on us to collect the Quran, to preserve the Quran, as exists in the Quran of Aisha. Masood. Quran of Masood. موجود في مصحف ابن عباس موجود. The the book of ابن عباس. The book of مصحف الصحابي علي. The book of Ali. موجود في مصحف الصحابي أبو الدرداء. فمن؟ The book of the book. Look how many Quran they have. من الذي يقول أن أن علينا جمعة وعثمان تدل على مصحف صحة مج صحة مصحف عثمان لا غيره. So he's saying, so how we know now which one is the correct Quran? He he named many, you know. Actually, there's way more than those, but he named many Quran. He says now how we know that this verse in the Quran is about the book of Uthman. Maybe it's about other books. Now the guy, the Sunni, he wanna prove it to him. أخي الكريم المعصوم هذا استدلال هذا شيء مالك بي أنت كلمني أنت في دينك. See here when he is quoting for him from the Shia he says your Imam says that you should follow this book. What he said to him don't worry about what the Shia you know the the focus on your religion. What do you mean you don't worry? If this is your religion if your religion says you have to follow this book then you have to follow this book. So here you see the dishonesty of the Shia cleric. He escaped the embarrassment, and he insists that the Sunni need to prove it. Now the Sunni, he have no proof. He have no proof of anything, and this is why the Shia he don't want you to go to his books, because this is the only way to corner him. وهي نقطة نظام جميلة، معناتها أنا وقت اللي بقول لك القرآن أنا بقول لك شو بعتقد فيه، لا تتنطوط، مو وقت اللي بقول لك القرآن تيجي تتمسخر، وقت اللي بقول لك أنتم الشعب بتقول لي تيجي بتقول لي ما عليك مننا أخي أولاً أنت هواي تصرف قل لي وقلت لك وقل لي وقلت أنت هواي He's saying see like you know when I say to you in your book it says this you refuse to accept and you you keep jumping from place to place. The Shia said to him don't tell me I said you said you said جاي تصرف الان يعني امتلأت الالائيل عندي هاي مثل ابن مسعود احتاج ابن مسعود يجي يمسحن وكان ي... وكان ابن مسعود وكان ابن مسعود يحك الالائيل حكا من القران هلا هي از كوتين فور هيم سمثينغ فروم ذا مسلم سني ذات ابن مسعود هي يوز تو سكراتش وات اتس كولد ذير از تو تو تشابترز ان ذا قران ابن مسعود هي توك ذيم اوف انكلودينغ ذا الفاتحه سو Uh, uh, but he's talking about uh, specific verses. The the Shia, uh, they they believe that Ibn Mas'ud he did take them off in purpose. It's about Ali and his children. الألائيل شنو اللي هي تنتوس القلاقيل ما معنى القلاقيل القلع ضرب بالفلق والقلع ضرب بالناس المعوذتين. So he's saying those chapters, uh, uh, Ibn Mas'ud he scratched him totally from the Quran. تصير قلت لك قلت لي قلت لك قلت لي هذا مو نقاش يا عيوني انت انت اول مره تتصل انت تريد تاخذ اللقطه. There's nothing to translate he's saying don't tell me I tell you I tell you is that the first time you talk 
سيري توك يو نو ذيس از مو بهالطريقه يا حبيبي مو بهالطريقه لازم تعرف حتى تعرف الالائيل الالائيل اسقطت من القران جيد فنرجع من جديد الان ما هو دليلك على ان هذا القران الموجود من كتبك انه صحيح وسليم تفضل يو سي ليتس جو باك ستارت اجين وات از ذا بروف ذات يور قران از ا كوركت بوك اوثنتيك انت انت بدك مصدر من الشيعه لما مصدر السنه بس مشان اعرف لا تتلوم The Sunni guy, he said, you want reference from the Sunni or from the Shia? He said, don't, don't keep moving like, like a lizard. <laughs> He's asking him, what is the reference you want? Where reference you want from Shia or Sunni? The Sheikh, he don't want to answer. He said, okay, let me repeat the question. Go ahead and prove to me that the Quran you have between your hand is the true Quran. كامل عند السنة وسوف وسوف أثبت لك عند السنة أنه محرف بالزيادة والنقص. And I will prove to you that from the books of the Sunni that the Quran you have is corrupt. صح. حلو. بدك الدليل من السنة ولا من الشيعة بس. The guy Sunni said to him, okay, uh, good, good. So you want reference from the books of the Shia or Sunni? Or لا 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 كمل اعطيك الدليل الكلام احنا وين كلامنا؟ انت انت اللي ش... انت بدك دليل اذا اعطيتك قران قران وسنه بدليل تجي عندكم تفضل انت معي تفضل الو تفضل هي هانج اب اون ذا جاي هي هانج اب اون ذا فيرست جاي عنده مشكله خطيب الالائل تفضل انت معي الو تفضل الو نعم تفضل من الهاتف السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام من وين؟ There's nothing to translate sorry guys I'm just here receiving هذا شنو؟ عندهم مشكلة انه القرآن مو كامل وبي زيادة ونقصان وبي تحريف He's saying those Sunni they have a problem The Quran is there is addition, there is increase and decrease, which means somebody adding, somebody taking off, and a lot of things is missing. Is not true. دنيا محترقة بحرق وإن علينا جمعة وقرآن إن علينا جمعة وعثمان بسوق العلبس. And he laughed at them about the verse they keep mentioning that Allah He promised to collect the Quran, but the one who did it is Uthman. سوق الجمعة. عند مشكلة بالألائيل صرف الألائيل الكثيرة. يعزع لابن مسعود لان ابن مسعود كان يسقط الالائيل من القران. لا. He's making fun of him, keep saying uh, I said I said. He said this is what ابن مسعود he did. He you know he he uh, he dropped a lot of verses from the Quran. الالائيل القلقله. جيد المعوذتين. الالائيل كثره صرف. عليه افضل الصلاه والسلام. في حديث الثقلين بالكتاب والسنه. هذا الكتاب هو الذي وصلنا الان هذا الكتاب اللي وصلكم الان طيب هذا جنا This Muslim Sunni he he came to fix it he make it bigger popo He said well what this is what we have This is what we receive and then now what we can do <laughs> I mean look how the Sunni they prove that their book is true Well this is what we have نابك الكريم كذب متعمد ولا كذب غير متعمد The Shia is saying to the Sunni Are you lying in purpose or like intention or not your intention? He's saying why I'm lying, how I'm lying. He said, let me say, let me tell you. Because the Prophet had you in the Quran that was the whole. He doesn't know. He said the Prophet, he commanded you. To follow the Quran, which is the the, the one the uh, the whole Quran, which was the let us say um, nothing missing of it. Muhammad, you do not know that his your your Muslims going to betray him later, and you will take the Quran off. Muhammad, you do not know the future. Your Prophet, he commanded you to follow the, the true Quran. 
ما من بعد وقع التحريف والزيادة والنقصان فمو هذا But after his death there's addition there's taking off versus adding changing corruption المصحف اللي قصده هو He did not mean to follow what you have now إذا إذا يجب عليك الآن أن تثبت بأنه غير كامل The other Muslim, the Sunni guy, he said to him, okay, prove to me that this is not a true Quran. Prove it, go ahead. So he's challenging the Sheikh to prove that this is not the perfect Quran, not complete Quran, not authentic. I said, okay, so you want me to prove that it's not uh, perfect? That's easy. He said to him, Ibn Mas'ud, he used to read Quran, it's not exist in the book of Uthman. Which means he's asking him to explain how that, that, how that can be possible. How one Quran have verses and chapters are not exist in the other Quran. Okay, I'm ready. Because we believe that the Messenger is not a good person in these things, if he is a good person, He is saying my answer for this, maybe when the Prophet he said what he said, because he is not perfect and he is not protected from error, maybe he said something which is not right. He's talking about what? What he said to him in the beginning, that the, the Prophet, he said, uh, I command you to follow this Quran. Now he is saying to him, okay, possible, possible, when the Prophet he said that, he made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the Sheikh, he said to him, the Prophet, he made, he, he made a mistake in what? He's saying, okay, when the Prophet, he says, follow the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud, maybe he made a mistake. He said, well, if... The Quran we have now and we follow is the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. Then the Quran we have, we, which we should supposed to have now, is not the right Quran. So he's saying, this is mean the Prophet made a mistake. He should not say, follow the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. <laughs> I mean, can you believe it? How stupid this religion is? So their Prophet, he command them to follow the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. And now the Muslim Sunni, he agree with the Muslim Shia that the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud is a shish kebab. And now the solution is, well, possible that the Prophet, he made a mistake. He command us to follow the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud, which is the wrong Quran. And thank God, we don't follow it. We don't have it. Otherwise, we will be following the wrong Quran, the Muslim Sunni say. So now we practice what we received. This is what we received. People in the chat is cursing the, the Muslim Sunni guy. They are saying, you know, may Allah curse your religion. By the way, those Shia, they curse Muhammad. The, the, they believe that Allah of the Muslim Sunni is not the same as the Allah they have. They believe Muhammad, the Sunni have, is a cursed one, is a filthy one. He is a child molester. He is a, a you know, every kind of filth. So even the, uh, uh, there's videos of this guy, you know, calling Allah the, the God of underwear. Uh, yeah, because, you know, when they, when, uh, when they accuse Muhammad of stealing underwear, Allah could not. Prove that he is not the one who did it. He's saying, my friend, are you drunk or awake? He said, I have vodka on the table. Look, look what he said. The Shia is making fun of Muhammad, claiming that this Muslim, Muslim Sunni now having sex with the wives of Muhammad, Hafsa and Aisha. So he said, in your right, there's Hafsa and your left is Aisha. So he's making them hookers, you know, the guy drinking vodka. 
and the wives of Muhammad is sleeping with him. <laughs> the Sunni, he says to him, may Allah curse you. The Shia said, why? Says, you are making fun. He said, oh, I didn't make any uh, insult. I did not make insult. It's you saying things, weird things. <laughs> he said, because we don't have something better, we accept what we have. <laughs> I'm trying to translate the, the, the straight language he is using, you know. So he's, he's saying, you are saying that this is what we have. We could not find better, so we took this Quran. The, I mean, guys, do you see the stupidity of this religion? The Quran preserved, the Quran is amazing, the Quran is such a joke. They agree, the Muslims Sunni agree that, and you will notice when Muslims they debate in Arabic, they don't they are not the same Muslim when they speak in English. You will not hear this conversation between two Muslims speaking English. No, no way. You will hear it only if they are speaking Arabic because they knew that all the Arab they understand the garbage they have, so there is no need to cover anything. He said, Okay, you said this is what we have, <laughs> so what we do? So you take what we have? What is this? The, the Muslim Sunni he says, You don't have an answer for what I said. He said, you should describe your prophet that he is a crazy, which means he meant, like you said that the prophet, he made a mistake when he commanded you to follow the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. Obviously, you just said, Muhammad is a crazy. He said, you say that the Prophet, he uh, tried to, like, uh, let us say, uh, to think of a solution, but he come with the wrong answer. So, and he caught for him what Umar, he said, Umar, the Caliphate, he said to Muhammad when he was dying, don't listen to Muhammad, he is crazy. So, obviously, when Muhammad, he, he was dying, uh, he said things uh, that don't, they don't make sense. So Omar he accused Muhammad in his last days that he lost his mind, you know, uh, like you know, having dementia and you know, and somebody. But remember, Muhammad did not die so old. I mean, he died in in, in his sixty, in the in the in the beginning of his sixty. So why is somebody at the age of 60, 62, 63 will will uh, will suffer from such a thing uh, unless he is really mentally ill? He said, look what you did. You just insulted your prophet. He made, you know, you denied him. And you denied uh, 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 your God. You denied the prophet. And just for the sake of the eyes of Uthman and his book. <laughs> he said, Wallah, Allah, by Allah, you don't have a religion, you Muslim Sunni, you don't have a religion. You don't. The Sunni said, no, that's not true. Wallah, He's saying, you know, I would try to be more, more uh, professional with you. Because when I get so angry, uh, you don't know me. The sheikh is like some, like he's, when he gets angry, he's like, he bites. He said, I'm trying to be patient with you. Listen, listen. <laughs> he called Muhammad Tarabiza. <laughs> Anyone knows what Tarabiza means? Who knows what Tarabiza mean? You know, this, this is not an Arabic word, by the way. But like if you have a, like a little table where anyone sit on it, set your ass on it, you want to wear your shoes, 
uh, you want to put coffee, tea, you put it in the front of the door. Uh, usually, it's just to sit on it when you want to wear your shoes, you know. So, he is saying your prophet is Tarabiza. Your prophet is a Tarabiza. Not only that, he said your prophet is a Tarabiza which is broken. Like usually, like poor ones, they have those tables. They, they, they don't have money to fix it. So, like the legs will be like, uh, you know, keep... They try to fix it like it's up like one leg is shorter than the other leg or one leg is broken so it's unstable so he's saying uh, it's yeah something like this but it's more like more than uh, 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 like uh, something you set your ass on not only it's a small small chair can be used for to set to drink coffee on it too it's like coffee table but it is uh, in their language in Iraq, they use it for something they sit on it. أنا راح أحاول أحدثك بلغة علمية لأن فعلًا أنا من أتعصب مشكلة يعني حتى النقاش العلمي غيره بعد ما أقدر أحاول أتحملك أحاول شوف يا عيوني أنت اسمع هسه نبيك طرابيزة طرابيزة وطرابيزة مكسورة من حتة ميلك so now your prophet is a طرابيزة and it's broken from one side it's it's and it's going down like one leg he is saying your prophet Muhammad is a is a is a stall. Everybody sat on it, and he have one broken leg, and the, and this stall is moving down. This is something we prove. There is no need to prove it no more. We prove it. Muhammad is a tarabiza. So Muhammad he did uh, uh, try to, to to be smart. But he's turned to be wrong by commanding you to follow the wrong Quran, the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. And then you did not even follow what he said, you did not take Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. But Ibn Mas'ud, he says that the Quran of Uthman is corrupt. And you say no, so you are just being stubborn. لا أنت لا لأنك أنت ما عندك رد أنا اللي أبغى أقوله أن مصحف عثمان هو اللي وصلنا لأن عثمان أصاب في تشخيصه. He says it's you who cannot answer me. The Muslim Sunni said, yeah, we believe that we received the Quran of Uthman because Uthman he is he's right. So he was he made the right decision. So we agree with him. So he's saying to him, the Islam Sunni, the Shia, what's your problem? So the Shia said, well, my problem is the companion. Look what they said. Listen carefully what they said. The problem is you and your the companion of Muhammad and Muhammad all of them, you just yourself, you just call them a bunch of crazy people, broken people. <laughs> the Muslim Sunni said, So what? They made the decision and they returned to be they are wrong. So what? <laughs> Allah will bless them because they were wrong. The Muslim Sunni said. الصحابة اللي كلهم ضد مصحف عثمان اجتهدوا فأخطأوا وعثمان هو الصحيح اللي صحيح مصحفه. So he's saying now, so all the campaign of Muhammad, who they say that the Quran of Uthman is wrong, they are wrong and only Uthman is right. ما أخطأ. إذا وصلنا مصحف عثمان فهو الصحيح. ها يعني إذا. The Sunni said, well, if this is what if we if this is the only thing we receive, obviously this is the only thing is true. So the Shia said to him, Ah, this is what we received. So anyone who married my dad, my mom, we call him daddy. <laughs> the last husband. <laughs> the 
بس يلا يلا, يلا جايكم شهر رمضان اثبتوا لنا هي ميك فن اوف رمضان هي كويت رمضان رمضان يو نو هيز ميكينج فن اوف رمضان ذا مانث اوف فارتين هي سيز كوم اون كوم اون رمضان از كامينج ها يا جيف اس جيف اس يو نو جيف اس انسر القران ما محرف اثبتوا لنا القران صحيح قايد جو اهيد جو اهيد رمضان از كامينج جيف اس ذا ترو قران استدلالاتكم مين يتجوز امي هو ابوي هاي شوف This is what you send me to do. The one who marry my mom is my dad. في كتبكم مو قادرين تثبتون ان القران سليم. في كتبكم From your books you cannot prove that the Quran is not corrupt. From your books. ما طالب منكم من المسيح ولا من الشيعه الكفار. I'm not asking you from the Christians or I mean by the way the Muslim by the way they don't even know how to say Christians in Arabic. Do you know that? Can you believe it? They don't know how to say Christians. They call us Masih, and this is how stupid they are. Masih is the name of the Messiah, you idiot. So how you call the Christian Masih? It's stupid. I mean, they are they are they live with us for the last fourteen hundred years, and until now they cannot quote our name correctly. In Arabic, you have to say Masih, not Masih. The most ignorant, stupid nation ever exists. So the whole drama here, you notice. Uh, I don't know which part the guy he mentioned. This is the Quran of uh, uh, Putin. Let me see. Where is the Quran of Putin? Is that the video? Let me see. Is that in the same video? Yeah, I think it's the same video. The first one who called first time, he wanted to prove that this is the true Quran. He says, well, Putin, he gave uh, the Quran of the, uh, the mullahs of Iran. Let me see where I can find it. You know, Putin, he gave a gift to the highest mullah of uh, Iran. And this poor guy, the Muslim Sunni, because he didn't know what to say, uh, he said, the Quran, Putin, he gave, this is the book of Uthman. <laughs> By the way, for those who support Putin, the filthy Putin, do you know that Putin, he made a law that anyone he insult the Quran, he go to jail? Do you know that? And you say to me, he's a Christian. So if I am now in Russia, I will be immediately arrested and God knows what Putin will do to me. Filthy has come back. Where is the video of Putin? Hold on. I need to find it. This is by Snapchat. Hold on. What was the name of the video? Yeah, I think it's the same video. Uh, Yeah, I think it's the same video. من كتبكم طالباني؟ السلسلة تعتبر هذه موسوعة وهي المسألة بالذات نحن قتلت بحسن. Uh, this guy he called again. I think here he talk about Putin. وأنا هذا اللي كنت جاي أقول لك ياو أنت ما عم تخليني كمل عم تقول لي لا تقول لي قصص. ما رح أقول لك قصص، رح لك رد على شبهة عبد الله بن مسعود. سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم كان حريص على القرآن. Okay. So this is the Muslim Sunni who called first time, he called again and said, now I'm going to give you the proof that the Quran is not changed. So he said, our Prophet Muhammad, Allah pray on him and salute him. He was so careful to protect the Quran. And when he came to the Prophet, he asked him to 
So when the Prophet he received revelation, he used to command the companions to write down the Quran. At that time they write it what? They don't have like papers right now. They used to write on bones now. So uh, the writing we are talking about is not what you think about. So he said at that time they used to write the Quran and anything is, is, is available for them to write on uh, like leather as an example. So he said that one of the companions, his name is Ma'ad, he made the condition that the one who will collect the Quran, he had to have proof of it. Oh. He mentioned Abu Bakr, the Shia start cursing right away because they hate Abu Bakr. I'm trying to sneeze, but it's not coming. <laughs> Remember, Allah, he liked the one who was sneezing. So anyway, I, I want to find the part where he speak about Putin. I don't know. Let us see. Because we put it on the, on the thumb. وخلص على دينكم كلش هذه تعتبر موسوعة ضخمة جدا من الركن إلى الركن سمع سلسلة ماذا استفادت الأمة من الصلاة والسلام مثلا عموما هذا عندكم مشكلة أنتم تقنية من زمان هذا أعتقد وتلزمني به جيد يعني أنت يوتيوبر ومألف لك دي استفادت الأمة من الصلاة والسلام مثلا منها شكرا شكرا لك ورز بوتين انطي مجال يشكل كيف ينتصر على الشيعة عليه السلام كان حريص على القرآن فكان عنده جمع القرآن عشان ما يختلط القرآن احنا الآن كلامنا فيما وقع فيما احنا السنة بالصحيح عنا عم نقول ان القرآن محرف هات الحديث yeah, anyway somewhere in the, in the video he mentioned this guy he said there is a true Quran proving that the Quran is true he said the Quran was given by Putin to uh, to the mullahs, the highest mullah of Iran. Anyway, if I want to play the video, is is like it's endless. But here you see how Islam, how stupid it is. Both side. When you speak to Muslim Shia, by the way, you debate them. They will not say to you, "We don't accept the Quran." They don't. This conversation only happened in Arabic. The second they switch to English. They will not, and this is including the Sunni, the Shia. So when Shia and Sunni the debate, they have a big problems regarding the Quran. The Quran obviously is corrupt. For me, I don't care to prove the Quran is corrupt because you cannot corrupt something is false anyway. I mean, if if Muhammad is a false prophet, you add to it, you take from it. Who care? I mean, this is stupid religion anyway. But when they speak in Arabic, the conversation is totally different from the conversation in English. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? I will open my Discord. So in case there is any Muhammad that would like to join us and uh, make comment about the corruption of the funny Quran, I don't mind to take you to prove us wrong. Let me open my Discord. <laughs> In case we have any Mohammedan.
right, we are in Discord. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm heard in Discord. Always when I join in Discord, you know, they don't hear me first time. So I have to log off and come back. You hear me? Okay, good. If there is any Muslim would like to join us, and the topic is, is the Quran made by so-called God, Allah, or made by many, many, many people, knows, no one knows who they are. <clears throat> any Muhammadan would like to join us? The Quran is made up by who? Who is a Muslim would like to join us? Any Muhammadan? Anyone who listened to those videos, anyone who speak Arabic, he will die laughing in a second. And he will notice right away that this is, cannot be a religion. The Muslim they keep trying to present to us in English. When we go to the Arabic fantasy world, the fantasy there is different. The Muslims are in dilemma of where is the, even the Quran? We don't even have a Quran. And the excuse of the if and authentic is nothing but an excuse to get away from what is offensive. You know, when, when a Muslim Sunni, he tried to prove to us the Quran is, is not cor corrupt. Well, who is the one who collected the Quran? The companion of Muhammad. If there is any, any of them is not a sinner, if there is any one Muslim believe he is not a sinner, even Muhammad, the Quran says, May Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. So if the sinners is the one who is collecting the Quran, collecting, is it possible that the sinners, they lie, and they add some, they took some? It's not only possible, it's proven to be true. This is why the Shia is quoting to them their books, and the Muslim Sunni are unable to answer. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he sent you his phone number. Well, you do not need a phone number. Well, who is going to call him? You want to call him in phone number to, to UK? I will never do that. Here, yeah, you know, if he dare, how how come he will give you your phone number? I don't give it to others. What about Skype or Discord? I called him. He hung up on me seven, eight times. The coward did not even allow me to say anything. We know them. So when the Muslim they seek refuge by the excuse of this is weak. This is authentic. This is telling you that Islam is not authentic anyway. Because if you could not preserve what Muhammad said, how you can preserve what Muhammad said? Because the Hadith and the Quran is what Muhammad said. So how it's possible that we can preserve what Muhammad said if it's Quran, but we cannot preserve what Muhammad said if it's not, if it's not Quran? Especially, we are not talking about Muhammad he preserved, he preserved Muhammad singing a song. We are talking about Muhammad is speaking about the religion. He is the one who explained his God. He is the one who explained his religion. So how come we have a book, it's called Tafsir Ibn Abbas, as an example, Explanation of Ibn Abbas. How come we were able to preserve what Ibn Abbas said to explain the Quran, but we cannot preserve what Muhammad said to explain the Quran? Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan here?
Sneeko looking to set up a debate between uh, Sam Shamoon and uh, why he don't. I made a challenge for him. I paused the video. I said, uh, debate me here, you know. How come they, How come nobody want to debate me? <laughs> Look, they want to set up a debate with Sam Shamoon. You know, they can debate Sam Shamoon because the number one reason for them to run is an Arabic speaking person. That's number one. Number two, your reputation. So if they debate with Sam Shamoon, Sam Shamoon, he can get them busted about what the Bible says, right? But they can get away with things like, you know, when David Wood, he went to Uthman. And David Wood, as usual, you know, him and this guy with his name, the other guy, they start talking about philosophy and what, 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 and what, what a stupid argument. So they went all the way to San Diego. They made the guy famous. And then when they stood in the front of him, they start talking about philosophy. And when the guy insulted me, they did not stood to say to him, shame on you to bully the guy. If you are a man, debate him. You see, if I was there, when Uthman making fun of David Wood, saying David Wood is wearing a burqa, do you think I will stand, say nothing to him? Or I will shower him with his shit? So they don't, you know, they are, I don't, you know, for me, they don't count really, all of those. And this is why the Muslim, they want to debate certain kind of people. If they find you a soft, easy target, they will target you. If they find you the one who can demolish them, they will avoid you. They will go blind. They, like what? Did he say when he debate us where? We did not hear it. Do we have any Muhammadan? Kulb programmer, you are a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? We want a Muslim. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? Any Muhammadan? Anyone in the chat in YouTube will say Catholic, Protestant, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. So say it one more time and I will step on you. A bunch of trashy people. Our topic here is Islam. And Catholic are our brothers and sisters in Christ. If you don't agree, get lost. Any Mohammedan? Dare to join us and debate me. Any brave Muslim? Any Abdul who hope to receive some versions? Anyone? Go ahead. Uh, what's your name? Yemen. Go ahead. You are a Muslim? Of course. Of course. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? What, al what Alhamdulillah mean? What Alhamdulillah mean? No, I'm learning from you. What is that? What Alhamdulillah mean? No, this is not what I mean. You are lying. No, this is not true. Okay. Wait, let me introduce myself first. No, no, first. What Alhamdulillah mean? What, what Alhamdulillah mean? What, what Alhamdulillah mean? You tell me. You're a teacher. No, you are the Muslim. You said to me, uh, it means to be happy, to be a Muslim. That's not true. Okay. That's not what I want to talk about. It's not up to you. I mean, we have a conversation. You said Alhamdulillah. I said I want to learn what Alhamdulillah mean. Okay, let me introduce myself. First. I don't care if you know. Did I ask you? Did I ask you who you are? Who care? Who care? I said, who are you? I said, who are you? Who no, are you? You said, no, no. I'm I'm not asking who you are. You. I'm saying, are you a Muslim? You, 
I said, are you a Muslim? You said, yes, Alhamdulillah. I said to you, what does that mean? You said, that mean I'm happy to be a Muslim. I said, no, that's not true. Alhamdulillah, I mean, thanks, means, thanks to Allah. Uh -huh. It means that I live at 304 Garfield Drive. And so, uh -huh. okay. okay. So, where are you? So, what? So, 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 should I, should I show, uh, should I come visit you now? You just shut up. Shall I come and visit you? Is that your, your wife? She live in the bed? <laughs> you want to give me uh, uh, some muta? Hmm. Any brave Muslim? Petito. May they, may they. Any Muslim? You see, this is why I we always laugh at the Muslims. So supposedly this Abdul, he think he is going to give me his address where his wife she live, and then the people will come to visit her. <laughs> you can't hear me? Am I heard? Good voice or all right. Any brave Muslim? So the Quran is just a stupid silly book made by a stupid so-called prophet. There's no proof it's of existence. They don't even have a single page. They don't even have a sin single manuscript. If you remember a few years ago when uh, a Christian priest he gave a document. A little little piece of leather have Quran in it the Muslim they made a big celebration and then the celebration is over when they notice that the that document is different from the Quran today so they have zero manuscript they don't have the Quran of Uthman they don't have the Quran of Muhammad they don't have the Quran of anybody so what they have nothing the Quran which the Muslims they have in Morocco is different from the Quran they have in Libya, different from the Quran they have in uh, uh, in Egypt, different from the Quran they have in every group of Muslims they have their own Quran. Any Mohammedan? Yeah, this is a Birmingham manuscript. It's just one page, and it's not it's not the Quran there. The date of the letter go even back before Muhammad otherwise the writing there it doesn't go to Muhammad time and how we can know that because simply the in the time of Muhammad the Quran don't have dots and the font is different the Arabic writing is different this is why if you, if somebody want to read Arabic today from what it used to be written in the old days he will not be able to understand anything because the way letters are written, the letters are not even connected. So the letters look different. Uh, they don't have dots and valves as now. Uh, for anyone who don't, is, he's not an expert in the ancient way of writing. Let's say, when I say ancient, I don't mean 10,000 years ago. I mean just 1,400 years ago. Like compared to us now. So you will not be able to read anything. So we know that this is cannot be from Muhammad time. Plus, what they have is different from the Quran we have today. It's just one page. Just one page, and it's not from the time of Muhammad. Any Muhammadan? May they, may they, before we lose our voice. Who is a Muslim? He have a Quran. He would like to join us. Anyone? Hmm. 
The only Muslim we have is the one who want to give me his address and where his wife she live. That's it. You know, I see people in the chat, they are fighting. Don't tag Christian Prince's name. Yeah, don't tag my name unless it's important. Is it important? Why would you tag my name? Just type your chat, say whatever you want. Don't tag my name unless it is something very important for me to say. Any Muhammadan here? The Muhammadan, because they have empty religion, they try their best to avoid speaking about Islam. And if they could not debate you, they will do anything, hoping they can stop you. And I say to the Muslims, your prophet is the most filthy, stupid, trashy person. It doesn't matter you are talking to who. Your prophet always will be the same. When this bishop, he made his comment about Muhammad. Can the Muslims refute him? No. So what we can do to him? We try to kill him. Salman Rushdie, he made a book about the faith in Muhammad receiving satanic verses. Can we refute him? No. It's even the Quran saying so. We try to kill him. So they cannot refute you, but they think maybe we can hurt you. I say I fought at you all. I fought at your God, at your prophet, at your religion, at your Quran, and I laugh at all what you say. Prove me wrong. Any brave Mohammedans? Anyone? Look at them. They are just so, you know, scared. I have a Muslim to talk. Okay, where is the Muslim? Let him come. Oh, what you need to do is just put his hand up and I will invite him. Can you explain jihad? This is a, this is an over uh, uh, explained topic. A jihad, why I need to explain jihad? From their fruit, you shall know them. The Muslim, they have, they have a duty to kill anyone as a Muslim, including killing the Muslim themselves. So why we need to keep talking about jihad? Aren't you bored of this topic, jihad? I mean, do I need to explain jihad up in your TV? Why we need to explain jihad? Until now, you did not know what jihad is? You know, after 9-11, we try to focus on well, uh, the, the evil side of Islam, which is the violent. But because, you know, people, they are used to the violent of Islam, so now it's not even, I mean, only not only that, actually, Western right now, they sponsor Osama bin Laden. If you go right now after, like, uh, those who support uh, uh, Gaza, they, they promote Osama bin Laden, and they say Osama bin Laden was right. So, Speaking about jihad doesn't affect this cult because there's a lot of scumbags in the West who they are not Muslims. They promote violence and they like it. Any Muhammadan? Why would Islam read the Hadith 
saying work and of more profit if they already have a guidance. Well, no, the guidance supposedly is what Muhammad say too. Why? Because the Quran says, uh, the one who obeyed the messenger, he obeyed Allah. So in order to be a Muslim, you have to obey the messenger. In order to obey the messenger, you have to know what the messenger said. This is why Islam is based on what Muhammad said and what Quran said. In fact, what the Quran said is not important because you will notice that Muslim they follow what Muhammad said over what uh, what the Quran say. So you will find Muhammad's statement cancel the statement of Allah. But you will not find a statement of Allah canceling the statement of Muhammad. So simply, the Quran is a fabrication made by Muhammad. And same time, anytime he don't like what he just said, claiming it is from God, he can cancel it by coming with different uh, words. Chapter 4, verse number 80, it says, He who obeys the messenger has indeed obeyed Allah. How you can obey the messenger if you don't have what he said? You see, Muhammad here, he made himself equal to his God. If Muhammad is just a messenger, which means he deliver, that's all. There is no need to obey him. It should say the one, what is important is to obey the command of Allah. Here Muhammad, he put himself first. The one who obey the messenger, he obey Allah. And in order to do so, you have to be perfect. You have to be God. Because if a human being, he do mistakes, if not sin, how we can obey him blindly? And how obeying Muhammad is obeying obedience to Allah? If the Quran teach monotheism, it should be only you obey Allah. Only. And Muhammad himself have to obey Allah. Here, you notice that Muhammad come first. And Muhammad, he placed himself on earth as God. So now the one who obey Muhammad, he is obeying God. And if you don't obey Muhammad, you are not obeying God. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? All right, maybe we have a Muslim. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Are you a Muslim? Yes, I'm just a quick question. How long did you have your day? My day is good. So what, what do you think about what we were saying? That the Quran, uh, according to Shia, the Quran, according to Shia, is corrupt. I'm sorry, so uh, you think Shia is misguided? Uh, how the Shia? What is your proof that the Shia is misguided? Um, they think that Umar and Uthman uh, were uh, Abu Bakr uh, aren't false or third, third, No, this, uh, but this is another reason, no. not the reason. The, the Shia, they say, that Umar, as an example, he don't believe in Muhammad. Is, is, it, is it true that Umar, he says, Muhammad is crazy? Uh, I don't know. I just I want to... Uh, I don't know, but, but um, I got a uh, friend who invited me to this um, server, uh, and he wanted to ask... Uh, he wanted to... Uh, I need to ask you something. Uh, 
Are you um, familiar with the Aqidah? No, I'm not. Tell me about it. You're not familiar with the Aqidah of the Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah? No, I'm not. I'm no, you don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, okay. Yes. So what? So, so not, what? What this uh, Aqidah? What this Aqidah? So you're not familiar with uh, Salafiyya? Where? Yeah. Salafi what I know. Yeah. What I know that Salafi they have to wear short. Uh, uh, clothing like your your picture otherwise if if the clothes touch your uh, feet you will go to hell is that correct mm, i don't know as, but I just want to what, do, what do you mean you do not know the picture you have in yours in your in your uh, icon <laughs> oh not you oh, sorry maybe you your dad but is it true that you muslim sunni you believe that this is why all of you you wear short pants like your pants never touch your your shoes because if your your pants touch your shoes you will go to hell Yes, it's hadith, but um, did you read the Sahih? Yeah, but you see, yeah, but you said to me, you're asking me about Akida. What kind of Akida teach that if your pants touch your touch, touch your shoes, you go to hell? Why you want to go to hell? Okay, okay. Um, did you read um, the Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari with an Ustaz? Uh, as I know, there's no book. It's called Sahih uh, Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. Where uh, where we can find them? Bukhari never wrote wrote a book. Neither Sahih Muslim, is that correct? You say there's no book. Yes, there is no. No, there is. No, this is you, Muslim Sunni. You made a Bukhari. He never made a book. Never. He never wrote a book. It's called a Bukhari. Neither Muslim. Both of them. They never wrote a book. This is you, Muslim Sunni. You collected. You collected. You collected. My friend, is it true or I'm making things up? That there is no book made by Al Bukhari and there is no book made by a Muslim. Yes or no? Uh, he, uh, so, uh, so, uh, Imam Bukhari, yeah. When, um, he didn't write it. Okay. Okay. So, 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 why you call it a book of Al Bukhari? Okay. So I have, I have, I have four books. It's written by me. So I can say okay. the, the books of a Christian prince. But if I did not write a book, how you say this okay. is the book of a Christian prince? That's wonderful. No, That's wonderful. But but did Al Bukhari okay. did Al Bukhari witness your prophet how he can you? What is true? What is not? Like, did he go? Okay. Did he go okay. and he check everyone what he say? So you don't even know the five um, types for um, classificate a hadith uh, if it's study or die. Uh, ex explain to the audience how Al Bukhari, who came hundreds of years after yeah, Muhammad, I'm not lying to you. you don't uh, know the five rules. No, uh, I, what I know that what I know there is no rules. As an example, Al Bukhari is called authentic Bukhari, correct? Yeah. Okay. Do you accept the authentic Bukhari yourself? There are many uh, hadiths where you should now uh, look with the rules. I'm going to tell you with the rules. Do you accept, uh, do you accept the Bukhari? Do you accept the Bukhari yourself? Yeah. Okay. So if I show you now a hadith from Al Bukhari, do you accept it? Wait, I'm gonna tell you something now. What? Uh, there was a friend. There was a friend right now who said that you have many knowledge, but with that you say something or uh, you say it's up. I don't know, man. You're reading. Uh, what? Is there somebody trying to tell you not to talk to me? He's asking you to leave and to run. Where you go? Your friends are asking you to leave, right? I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, I was so, so, so you, so you said you believe in Al Bukhari. So I'm going to show you something from Al Bukhari, and you tell me if you believe in it or not. Is that all right? Okay. All right. So, I, if you remember when you came here, I said the Shia. Uh, 
you know, they say that uh, they don't believe in the Quran. And you said to me the Shia are misguided, correct? All right. You're a prophet in his element when he died. Did he say, did he, did he say to the Muslims, bring me a pen and a paper so I can write for you a book you will not be misguided after it? Did he say that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know okay, let me help you. All right. You see, you see my screen. You see my screen. Okay. Read that. Read that. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. The book of who? Hello. I don't hear you. What? I don't hear. I don't know what you are saying. Ustaz, ah, oh, Ustaz. I never heard of that. There's a person. His name is Ustaz. Oh, okay. My friend, none of none none of your Ustaz is Ustaz. All of them they are ignorant. Your Prophet himself did not know how to read and write. So what Ustaz? Now read for me. Read for me. Let us see, my, my friend. Read, read for me. You said you you accept. You said you said you accept Al Bukhari. You said you accept Al Bukhari. And Al Bukhari. Okay, do you accept this hadith? Which, what, what language is your language? Are you from Indonesia? Yeah, which, what? From Germany? Oh, okay. Option schmacht, schmacht. I speak in German. So now you see, you're a prophet. He do not believe the Quran is the book of guidance. He said, he said when he is dying, come, let me write to you a writing after which you will never go astray. And Omar, he claimed that Muhammad, he's lost his mind. And Omar said to him, the Quran is sufficient and that's it. So who is right? Muhammad is right or Omar is right? Omar, he believed the Quran is sufficient. Muhammad, he believed the Quran is not. Uh, can you maybe send me the hadith? Huh? Uh, send me the hadith number or something like that. Uh, this is Al Bukhari, hadith number 736. Uh, uh, what happened yeah I'm, I'm just telling you right yeah your prophet is is uh he is I'm, I'm, uh, really. Uh, 
Hmm. Well, it says, well, it says that your prophet, he believed the Quran is not the book of God. He was going to write a book for you before he died, confessing that this is the true guidance of God. The Quran is not the true guide. Otherwise, he will write what? He said it clearly, come, come near. Let me write for you a writing after which you will never go astray. Omar, he disagree with Muhammad because he is your prophet. And he said, well, we have the Quran and that is sufficient. And he said that the Quran, Muhammad is Hajar Rasul, not uh, seriously ill. This is a false translation. The prophet, he is mentally ill. The prophet is mentally ill. So the Quran, the book of Allah is sufficient. So which one you follow? You follow Umar, who is saying the Quran is sufficient, or you follow Muhammad, who says, I should write for you a book, which after you will never be misguided. Um, and you know, it's Sahih. I said, I wanted to. That's why you don't let me finish. There are many rules to tell you that Adil is Sahih. You need. My friend, uh, this is Sahih. This is Sahih al Bukhari. You see, remember? I asked you about Al Bukhari. He asked you about Al Bukhari. I asked you about Al Bukhari. You said Al Bukhari is Sahih. Uh huh. Okay. So now. Uh -huh. What rules? Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari. He did the rules. Isn't it? Isn't it? Al Bukhari is the one who did those things. He checked already. What? Please don't lie to me. Please don't lie to me. This friend that said to me that you're studying Islam. Yeah, and after he says, you're just kidding. Do you know even Tom Arabic? Do I what? Little. Please don't give it to me. You're, you're, my friend, uh, listen, you're a prophet, do not know how to write, how to, to read. And you are asking me if I know, or, or, my friend, by the way, you Muslim, you say your prophet do not know how to write, how to read. Do you believe in that? You Muslim, you keep saying Muhammad was illiterate, you do not know how to write, how to read. Is that correct? I don't know, but I just wanted to join this uh, call to ask you uh, something. Uh, like my friends, just tell me to ask. And I don't know. You're trying. Uh, you try not. You try uh, doing looking Islam bad, but not even know Islam really. My friend, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to make look Islam bad because Islam is bad already. Don't you see your prophet? He is. He is at the last day of his life. Okay. Uh, don't know even the hadith chains like the words I said. You don't even know the opinion. I, I, I don't know that you don't even read the Holy Quran completely. Okay, did you read, did you did you read the Holy Quran yourself? Yeah. Okay, recite for me the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult. Recite for me chapter of a breastfeeding for adult. No, I'm not making things up here, my friend. This is what you see. No, you keep you keep. Okay. Making up. I meant by making up. No, making words really about. But I meant by making up. Making up. Making up. Making up. Making up. So the is it true? Is it true that your God He sent ten time command? For women to give their breast to strangers, to breastfeed grown men, yes or no? I think what? Do you think I'm a kiss? 
a friend. I'm, uh, uh, did I say anything about you? We're not talking about you and me. We are talking. We are no. You are you are thirty years old. No, that's, that's what I mean. Uh -huh. You're, no, but okay. You are twenty nine no. years old. Don't be sad. No problem. Now, so now, can you tell me what kind of God he sent command for a woman to give her breast to the neighbor? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm reading all about the Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Uh, what do you want? What kind of God he gave command to your wife to give her breast to the neighbor? Yeah, what kind of God he gave command to your wife? Huh? It's in the front of you. You don't see it. I can make. Uh, I can make. Uh, where's it up from the Bible and say to you? Can you see it? Well, the one is talking. The one is talking is Aisha. Are you accusing Aisha to be a liar? Ah, uh, here we go. It's, it's in the front of you. And it's a good. It's good hadith. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So what kind of God he command Muslim women to wear burqa as Muslim they claim but yet the wife of a Muslim man can give her breast to me what is what is the wisdom behind this breast thing what do you think I'm, I'm making up something no, no, no. Can you uh, scroll down? Ah, here we go. This is the whole hadith. Uh, uh, the hadith number? Here we go. Ibn Majah 1944. Hmm. I know, I know many people, they converted to Islam because of a breastfeeding. Mm. So, so the, yeah, so what, uh, what happened now? What kind of God he command Muslim women to give their breasts to strangers? What for? Ibn Ishaq is not Hujja. Well, all the hayat you have is coming from Ibn Ishaq. <laughs> all your Bukhari is coming from. I mean, where is where is Ibn Ishaq? First of all, where is Ibn Ishaq? What Ibn Ishaq? Where is Ibn, where is, where is Ibn Ishaq here? Can you show me Ibn Ishaq? حدثنا أبو سلامة يحيى بن خلف لسن حدثنا عبد الأعلى عن محمد عن محمد ابن إسحاق عن عبد الله ابن أبي بكر عن عمر عن عائشة عن عبد الرحمن ابن القاسم عن أبي عن عائشة. So this is not only one person. All those names. So now you say to me ابن إسحاق ابن إسحاق you don't accept it. Well the rest. What about the rest? And, and why it says as long you say to me do you know the rules of hadith here we go it says Hassan Hassan mean good hmm? isn't it Hassan isn't it Hassan mean good in Arabic okay so the hadith is good no Hassan Hassan is good and good is authentic because good is good. It's mean nothing wrong with it. Huh? Can you look at the chat of the channel? Yeah, I'm looking at the chat in the channel. Yeah, what about it in YouTube or in the Discord? Okay, so we're we're uh, we're in the, what you are saying here. Okay. As you can see, Ibn Min Weekend, Ibn Ishaq, 
about four time Abu Abdullah. Oh, okay. So okay, so listen, listen. So the Shia they say the Sunni books are corrupt, and you are confirming to me that you Muslims. Listen, listen, listen. I will go with you. I will go with you. So you are saying to me each time you show me something, this thing, even though it exists in the book which is authentic, they are not authentic. So Muslims they admit that their religion is not authentic. How and which book, which book we can find the authentic hadith of Muhammad? Can you give me the book name. Can you give me the name of the book which you Muslim believe that the authentic words of Muhammad can be found? Which book? My friend, don't tell me hadith chain, but a chain. Okay, I'm asking you which book we can find the authentic statement of Muhammad. Where we can find them? Which book? Which book? If I want to read about Muhammad, the true teaching of Muhammad, which book I have to read so I can learn what Muhammad said? Because each time I show you a book, you say this is one have a problem and this one have a problem. So now I want to know which one, which book, which book, which book is considered authentic for you Muslims so we can learn about Muhammad. But, but I just showed you Sahih Al Bukhari, you refused. How it is wrong and it's authentic. <laughs> How it is wrong. You say to me Al Bukhari is the correct one. And then I show you Al Bukhari and then you say it's wrong. <laughs> How it's authentic, it's wrong. It's authentic wrong? <laughs> Mature, six years old. Six, six. Um, yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, I want you, I want you to give me a hadith from Al Bukhari is not wrong. Uh, All right, let me let me help you to, to make the topic to make it easier. Give me a hadith. Give me a hadith about Musa's from Al Bukhari. Musa's. Uh huh. Musa's. A hadith you a hadith you accept. Okay, okay. Uh, I got the book. Uh, I'm jumping up. Waiting. Hmm. To make it simple, Musa, Suleiman, whatever you want, Suleiman. Uh, uh, David, Musa's, give me a hadith you accept. Do you want me to help you? I need to charge my phone. You need to what? You need to you charge need your to phone? Charge phone? Okay, charge your phone. Charge your phone. But don't forget to say inshallah before you wait it in the charger. I know Muslim, the many Muslims they put their phone in the charger without saying inshallah and they get burned. Yeah. Be careful. Because the charger made by the kuffar. Yeah. 
Do you want my help? I can help you. So is it really hard to find a Sahih Hadith about Musa's? Why is it taking you so long? Oh. You make weird noise sometimes. I don't know what is that. What I don't know if you notice you make weird noise from time to time. Are you a human? I don't know. We might be Jibreel. I don't know. How I know? I have a phobia from Jibreel, you know? Jibreel, he always, like once I saw, by the way, how many wings does Jibreel he have? What? How many wings Jibreel has? My Jibreel, Jibreel, the angel Gabriel. How many, uh, how, many, how many wings he have? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Your prophet never said that in the hadith? No, oh, I don't know. Huh? Okay, okay, let me let me help you. So did the, did your prophet says in the hadith that Jibreel have six hundred wings? I don't know. Are you are you the Muslim or I am the Muslim? Bro, you are just Oh you are just uh, putting up Okay, I wanna show you because it's taking you so long to find me anything, you know. So I wanna I wanna show you something. You tell me if you agree with it or not to make it easier for you. You know what I can do. All right. So here, let me let me show you this uh, hadith. Uh, all right. Here we go. Um. All right, let us see. All right, read this hadith with me. I will show you on the screen. And tell me if you agree with this hadith or not. Let me show it. Okay, so. Let us see this hadith here. Uh, let us see about Jibreel, Jibreel, Jibreel. Uh -huh. So read with me this one. Is this hadith is authentic? Is this hadith authentic? It is authentic. I'm asking you, you check for me. Is it authentic or not? Is it authentic or not? Yes, it is. It, it is authentic. And yes, this is in the Bukhari, can be found in the Bukhari too. So, guys, let's listen carefully. So, you agree that Jabril he have 600 wings, correct? Okay. What do you mean? I don't know. A second ago, you said you agree. You don't, you don't agree? No, if it says so, but I didn't agree uh, before. Okay, so let me. Uh, do you agree that Gabriel he have six hundred wings? I said yes. Okay, if it's no six hundred wings. Okay, so and you agree this is authentic, right? Yeah. Okay, so read 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 for me what the Quran says about the angel according to the Quran. How many the wings of the angels Allah He created? Mm -hmm. hmm? I don't know about this. Uh, you can't ask me this question, but maybe. Let us see what your Quran says about uh, the angels. All right, hold on. Are you singing? All right. So here we go. 
read for me this this uh, hadith. How many the angels, how many wings they have? Two or three or four. So what is the 604? Manis. Huh? Manis. What manis? If Allah, he created the angels, if Allah, he say in the Quran, he created angels with two and three and four wings only. Muhammad, he saw an angel with 600 wings. Yeah, and, um, uh, 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 this uh, is a difference between other angels. Like, uh, I don't know if you use the, uh, I don't know if you use this verses of um, a contradiction, but it's not um, like in the, in the first of Allah in the Quran it says. Uh, Adam is is made of of clay, and we are what, made what the clay? What the clay? Focus with me. Allah created angels with two and three <laughs> and four wings. No, 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 no. You, you are give me give me a different uh, different. And uh, this is here about the numbers of the wings. This is not about the clay made them from chocolate. This is not about made them from chocolate. Okay. So it is two wings or three. By the way, how an angel can have three wings? Where is the third wing is located? Uh, I don't know, but in, in, in his in his ass, I mean three wings. How how he? What do you mean? How he have a three wings? What does that mean? <laughs> bro, can you let me finish? I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't so, know Muhammad, so Muhammad did not see Jibreel, the angel of Allah. He saw maybe something else. He saw someone with 600 wings. Okay, you want to see the hadith again? No problem. He says, Mohammed that Jibreel had 300 wings. Uh -huh. And angels, angels, not Jibreel, have three or four. And it's like an exception for you. But with the slurs, I meant, but you don't think you finish speaking, bro. Uh, the two verbs are saying, Adam is made out of clay, and we are made out of um sperm. Um, sperm. um and now many Christians use that for an introduction that how um Adam is made of clay but um uh, we not uh, that of the contradiction it made of clay not we he is made out of um my friend my friend I, I don't I don't see save yourself from this there I don't see that a contradiction. Don't go there. Did I say this is a contradiction? No. So I don't know what you are talking about. No. I'm asking you, this is not about made from a clay or from zucchini. The angels of Allah, he created them either with two or three. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's an example for that. Yeah, so, so if Allah... He told that the, that the human beings are made out of sperm and uh, Adam this is about is a simple thing right. it's about and the number of the, uh, the it's about the number of the wings okay listen 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 okay so how many how many the, how many wings how many wings how many wings how many how many wings allah angels have how many wings allah angels has two or three or four or six hundred no, I want see, to you are trying. You are trying to avoid the embarrassment. Your prophet did not see. I think your prophet is so the devil. No, what, what to answer your questions? No, you are answering me about the claim. I'm asking you if Allah He said my angels have two wings, three wings, four wings. So, 
my angels he did not say he did not say one of the angels he said my angels all of them Allah he made the angels the angels all of them we either with two wings or three or four so Jibreel Muhammad he saw he claimed he saw Gabriel he have 600 wings that means the one Muhammad he saw cannot be one of the angels of Allah Okay. Like the first, this humans are made of of sperm, and with you. Okay, hold on. I wanna, I wanna, go, I wanna go with you. Do you believe a human is made from a sperm or a human made from something else? That's what I mean. You just. No, no, no. I'm asking. I'm asking you your opinion. I'm asking you your opinion. Is a human made from a sperm? Is a human being made from a sperm? I'm going to answer you, but let me finish this. No, no, no you're, not, you're, you're the one who changed the topic talking about sperm. So when we go there, you don't want to talk about it no more. So you mentioned the clay and you mentioned this, the sperm. Focus with me. You, you, not your gram, not Adam, you. Are you created from a sperm? Okay, and this is sperm coming from who? What? You, you, you as a person, you. Are you yeah. created? Are you created from a sperm? Yeah. This is sperm is coming from who? What do you mean? Who is the one who made the sperm? My father. What about your mom? She did not make any sperm? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how you explain to me then that you're a prophet, he claimed, that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will look like him, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be like her, which means a female. So the orgasm of the women, according to your prophet, is here is sperm, and he explained. Read with me. Yeah, just, yeah, just. Hmm. Why do you have um, Arabic letters on the uh, branches? You know. All right. Read with me what it says here. The man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Okay. Everybody heard you saying that the one who made the sperm is your father. Mm -hmm. So what the water your prophet is talking about, if she come first? That's not, uh, first of all, um, I said yes, but I don't, uh, I don't knew that women are making, I didn't knew it, but. Yeah, we don't know. This, this is absolutely false. Women don't have a sperm. Since when women have a... Do they have testicles? In order to have a sperm, they have to have testicles. Did you see any women she have testicles? Do your wife have testicles? <laughs> what, what, what? Why are you laughing? Let us be serious, man. This is my... Let us talk of respect. Come on, women. Women, they have big testicles. It's called the breast testicles. Is that correct? <laughs> What do you mean? Don't know? Okay, isn't it the Quran? Isn't it the Quran? Chapter eighty-six, verse number seven, says that women they have a breast testicles, and their semen is coming from their ribs. Your Quran, your Quran, chapter eighty-six, verse verse number seven, says that women they have a breast testicles, and their sperm is coming from their ribs, the location of their ribs. So what kind of God do you think women have a testicles and the testicles in their chest? What do you know what what? What's wrong with you? What kind of God? What kind what kind okay? I will speak slow. What kind of God? Okay. So what kind of God he think women have a breast testicles and they have a semen? 
I just told you chapter 86 verse number 7 read it here we go over it for you on the screen Do you want to call a shake to join him? No, Do you know any shake? Do you know any shake with beard he'd like to join us? You can call him so he can help you. No, um, I like the joint, uh, joint the lesson. I'm saying it's no lesson because my friend helped me, you know, very uh, things well. Uh, and if you if you teach me something, uh, thanks. Well, you can read my books. I have my books in German. Do you have my books in German? Do you have my books in the German language? Your books? Yeah, in German. Do you have them? Yeah. Yeah. Go right now to Amazon and search Christian Prince and you will find my books in German language. Hmm. So you can learn. Go to Amazon, type Christian Prince, yeah. it's loading, it's loading. and you will find my books there. Many languages, including German. Do we have any Muslim here who would like to help our friend here? He's struggling no, 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 with his religion. Want, uh, okay, so now, so now, what kind of God he think women have a sperm? All of us we knew women have no sperm. And you said that to me, and you, you, agree, you agreed with me. You said, my dad. I said, what about your mom? You said, my mom don't have a sperm. So now you agreed with me already. Such only man have a sperm. What kind of a prophet he is teaching that when the women she have orgasm and the man have orgasm, that make the baby? Wait, I'm going to ask you as a normal person. I don't know this things have a woman's organism. Women have orgasm, yes, but they don't have a sperm. Orgasm have nothing to do with the sperm. Okay. So, what's your book? Just search in Amazon, type Christian Prince, and you will find all my books in French, in German, Portuguese, whatever you want. Hmm. People are posting the link for you on Amazon. Any Muslim would like to join and support his brother here because he's in trouble. He don't know what to say. Obviously, the God of the Quran is missed. The God of the Quran is missed up. Again, I don't know why I joined this because I don't. I didn't want to debate. I'm done. You are done. Well, you see, you see, always I like. Sometimes I like my meat done, well done, so so. You are done. Nice to meet you. My friend, according to Muslims, I know nothing, so I have to agree with them. They keep saying I don't know Arabic, they keep saying I know nothing, they keep saying I'm lying. So, I okay, I know nothing, so here we go. But then, when they speak to me, it turned to be they are the one who know nothing, and I'm the one who knows everything. My friend, you don't you don't have a religion. When you say do you know the aqidah, you don't have a religion. Shouldn't you have religion? Shouldn't you shouldn't you have shouldn't you have religion first? You don't have a religion. What is your religion? Islam. No, Islam is not a religion. Islam means surrender. What kind of religion? It's called surrender. Okay, okay. 
No, 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 I don't know how old are you. Did, like, did I choose you? Did I go in the street? I grab you from your yeah, hand? Obvious, my friend, obvious. I just you told you a five a second ago. I told you, do you like to call a shake? Correct. I don't go shake. Okay, why you don't call a shake? Instead of saying to me, I'm young. Call a shake. Let him join us. Let's everybody see if the if the shake can answer. So neither you, neither your dad. Bring your dad. Here we go. Where's your dad? Let him talk to me. You're debating, right? Bring your dad. Let me talk to him. Yeah, I'm right, now. right. You're debating people. Uh, you are the Muslim, you are a kid. This is what you said to me. Yeah, yeah I'm debating. Yes, I'm waiting. Yes, you can bring your dad. Uh, what was the maximum? Uh, okay. Yeah, um, uh, I'm searching for a score and share you think, and then maybe I can bring it. Okay, uh, do you promise me to bring me like many shakes, not only one? You promise? <laughs> yeah, because this is better, so you can laugh. Because when they come, they will refute me, they will get me busted, they will demolish me, everybody will laugh at me. That's what I'm waiting for. So, do you promise me, like, why, why you don't call him right now? Do you have a phone call right now, live on air? Why you don't have to? Don't you want to defend Islam on the law? Ah, you don't have one. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, tell them I will give you fifty dollars. Trust me, all of them they will come. Just tell the sheikh I will give you fifty dollars if you join. But don't tell him my name. Just tell him there's a guy. I want you to get him busted. Huh? Don't tell him a Christian prince. Tell him I will give you fifty dollars. He will come right away immediately. Just do it. You will see. Yeah, he's gone. The guy is coming here to examine my knowledge. Like, do you know? Do you know the Akida? He knew an Arabic word, and he, now he wanna he wanna show me that he have knowledge. Like, do you know Akida? Yeah, I know Akida. Akida is the sugar women they use it for their legs. That's what the word means in Arabic. Middle Eastern women they make sugar. They boil it. They cook it. And they use it to take hair from their legs. This is your Akida. You don't have religion. Even, by the way, even your prophet used to do sugar. Even your prophet is effeminate. You see, Middle Eastern men, if they take hair from their legs and their body, it's a shameful thing. In the culture of the Middle East, only feminine men, which mean homosexual, they will do so. Do you remember Mimi Hijab? He wore pink. When he took his T-shirt in the front of the embassy, he had no hair in his chest. His previous pictures, he had hair in his chest. Homo. And you're a prophet used to do the same. If any Muslim want to challenge me, I can show you the reference. Why a man want to shave his legs? You tell me. I know like in some culture it's okay for them, but for us as a Middle Eastern, this is disgusting. And I believe this is disgusting anyway. Are you trying to make yourself look pretty? What differentiate you from a female? The normal thing is to look like a male. God, he made you this way. Any Mohammedan? Last time I went to swimming pool, they kicked me out. They thought I'm jumping in the water wearing my fur. They thought there is a bear in the water. I said, sir, this is my hair. 
He said, really? Can I, you know, he want to touch it. I said, don't touch. He could not believe it, you know. They come right away. They said, bear are not allowed in the swimming pool. There's a bear in the swimming pool. Dad, there's a bear in the swimming pool. Good and friends. First of all, the atheist now they were going to prove that you are the original human being. They are a monkey. Is that can I? Don't talk about monkeys for the sake of the shin of Allah. Look at you. Good and friends. You are making fun of the way I look like. And you look so ugly. Trust me. I look not even close to you. You are look way better. However, if the atheist want to prove that there is a monkey in the earth, it's going to be you. Not because of your look, but because you keep changing your opinion from here to there, and you lie a lot. You are a monkey in the tree. Good time, friends. Respect yourself. I don't lie. Zakura, don't force me. Good time, friends. I threatened you to tell me what I lie. Isn't it you who told the Muslims that the Christians believe if they believe in Jesus, they can sin as much as they want. They can rape, they can fornicate, they can kill, they can steal. Isn't it this is what you say? Exactly. Can you show me the reference? <laughs> Zakir, can you show me the reference from the Bible where it says that a Christian, he can lie, he can steal, he can fornicate, he can kill, and he will go to heaven. Get some print. First of all, the Bible you have is corrupted. But you said the Christian believe. So if we believe in something, it has to be somewhere where we can find this. Get them print. First of all, it's Ramadan and I have to go right now and to eat. Zakarnak, Ramadan finished two weeks ago. What's wrong? You see, you lie again. There's no Ramadan. Are you you have a different calendar, don't you? In in, in Bangladesh. Get them print. First of all, the morning come to us before the morning come to you. So we would be the, the, the correct one. Uh, because the morning come to you first before it come to Ah, oh, by the way you remind me that your god he says allah is the lord of the two east how many east you have get the prince it's true scientifically it's accurate there is two east there is two east and two west exactly hey muslims is it true there is two east and two west and you Muslims, your brain is so twist. How in the world you believe that there is two east and two west? Look what your God, how he understand the season. He think there is two east because the sun appear from two different location, the wind in the season. Is that God talking? Hmm? <laughs> the Lord of the two East and the Lord of the two West. The Muslim, they put between two brackets to make you understand better. They say the winter and the summer, brother. No. Your God, he thinks there's two suns, one in the East for the winter and one in the East but in different location for the summer. Same for the West. If your God believe in there is only one East and one West, he would not say this. He would say, eh, the Lord of the West, the Lord of the... And what is the Lord of the West mean? I mean, this is silly. I th like the West and the East is, n is not exist. East for who and west for who? My west can be your east. Like if you live in Egypt, their east is Saudi Arabia. If you live in Saudi Arabia, their west is Egypt. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? If there is any Muslim, his wife, she have or orgasm and she have a sperm. Because I'm trying to study BHD in different species. 
Obviously, Muhammad, he was talking about different species. They are aliens. Muslim women are the only one who have orgasm with semen. When do Muslims decide to do jihad or let disbelievers pay jizya? Well, pay jizya is more profitable for them. This is why the Muslims, they prefer if they can force them to pay money so they can make living for free. Any Mohammedan here? Who is here first time in listening to us? If you are here first time, give us one, please. You love Egypt? I don't know. I will never love Egypt. Did you did you live there? You will lose your wallet in two seconds. The guy he loved Egypt. Maybe you live and you like it in the movie, but not if you live there. Your wife, she will go inside the bus. Version, she will come out of the bus with a baby. You love Egypt? Any Mohammedan? Can you debate what? Imahin? I don't know who is that Imahin? But don't tell me can you debate this guy just to bring them. There we go. My Discord is open. Let them call me. Like, is it a choice I make who I can debate? Anyone can debate me. Call me. Like, can you debate this guy? Can you? Do I choose people? Can you explain Sharia Allah? There's no case. There's nothing is called Sharia Allah. When you say law, law is a command for every citizen. In Islam, the law is not a command for every citizen. There's zucchini. There's a cucumber. There's the you know there's the discrimination. So this is not a law. This is a gang system. What law? As an example, Muhammad, how many wives he have? Muslims, how many wives they can have? So how we can say Islam has a law if the law has always exceptions? Law is a phrase we use where everybody a president or a citizen is under the law. If there is some above the law, that is not a law. Do you understand? Do we have any Muhammadan? What do you say about the Quran? Saying let the disbeliever disbelieve, that's not what the Quran is saying. You see the when when uh, always when somebody he caught a verse like our friend here, chapter eighteen. Where here it says that the disbeliever disbelieve. What it says here that Muhammad now he have no ability to force them to believe. So for now they can do what they want but for later we are going to make them shish kebab. 
Because if this verse is valid, then all the rest of the Quran is invalid. Like kill those who don't believe in Allah. Chapter 9, verse 29. So this verse is when Muhammad he cannot. That verse is when Muhammad he can. When he cannot force them, they can do whatever they want. When he can force them, kill whoever don't believe in Allah. If this is the case, so why Muhammad said the one who changes religion kill him? Why Muhammad says bara'a, which means I wash my hands from all agreement with you. You have four months, I kill you or you run. The, what the problem? They don't believe. So those verses in the Quran are called abrogated. Why they are abrogated? Because simply there's verses came after them. This is when jihad is not possible. It's not possible. They are weak still. Do we have any Muhammadan? Can you explain abrogation? Abrogation is not to be explained. Abrogation is simple. Muhammad is a fraud. He cannot. There is two reasons for them. Number one, he says something, people laugh at him. Then he find himself, he have to change it. So he abrogated. Number two reason, he forget it. And he cannot remember it. So he say, Allah, he forced me to forget. But don't worry, Allah will give me something better. Or similar. As we see in chapter 2, verse 106. Whatever a verse, do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten? Why a God, any God, want to force you to forget what he said to you? I thought that God will be upset if you forgot what he said to you. It turned to be in Islam that God, he doing the opposite. He want to make you and cause you to forget. This is when Muhammad, he make poo-poo. Any Muhammadan? We have a Muslim, his name is Siraji Islam. How are you doing, Siraji Islam? Do you like to join us, my friend? Your name is Siraji. I like that. You're a lamp, like Muhammad. Any Muslim? The Muslims in Discord, they are discussing where I am from. This is what they are worried about. <laughs> Look what we are talking about and look what the Muslims are discussing. That, I mean, silly, stupid. Let us say wherever I am from. What that would do? I mean, I fart at you, you potato. So where is the answer? Where is your religion? Where is your prophet? We love. So instead of defending their prophet, they are talking about Christian prince, brother Thither. Do you know where the Christian prince is from? <laughs> what that will do to you? From where? From who cares? <laughs> hey, Muslims, uh, <laughs> in case you didn't notice, if I open my camera right now, that will make me way more popular. And if you Muslim try to force me to do it, I mean, that would be for you lose. So don't be stupid and silly. 
whoever Christian prince is from, he don't claim to be a prophet. Yet, he is not a child molester. He never been arrested. He never broke the law. He never been a thief. He never been a criminal. And in fact, I was in the army. I was a police. I have degrees in law. I can be a judge. And I fought at your prophet. What do you have? Any Muhammadan? Hmm? You know, when the Muslims start talking about me, I feel like very, I don't know what, how to explain it. It's like, you know, how important I am that those people are busy talking about me. And I am talking about what? About their prophet. So who is more important for them? Me or their prophet? Obviously, I am more important. <clears throat> Mehdi, Mehdi, any Abdul? Who would like to go to heaven? Do you know if you debate me, Allah will promote you and give you an extra virgin in heaven? You know, when I saw in the Quran, that Allah created angels with two and three and four wings. I was saying to myself, I want to see how the three wings things can work. Where is the wing number three is located? Any Muslim can tell us? The admin, anyone he tried to direct the conversation in the chat just to block him. The topic here is about Islam. You want to talk about me? Go to your channel and talk about me as much as you want. Make videos, dance, cry, say to Allah goodbye. <coughs> Any Muhammadan? Do you like to join us, Siraji? Siraji is a Muslim. Are you there, Siraji? You like to join us? If you join us, I will make you admin when the chat is closed. What say you? as a reward for you. I don't know, think about it. You can go and tell the Muslims I am became an admin in Christian Prince chat when it's closed. Well, your prophet, he went to meet Allah when the heaven is closed and Allah was coming down. How he met Allah? Isn't you Muslim you say that Muhammad, the Prophet of Allah, he went to heaven at night? Yet your Prophet, he says, Allah come down every third part of the night. So Muhammad, he went up, Allah was coming down. How Muhammad saw Allah? Where he met him? Hmm? So Muhammad is going to Washington, D.C., and the guy in Washington, D.C. was going to San Diego. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Come on. Allah will bless you, will give you extra females, Horny, hot, you know, very hot. Uh, by the way, speaking about hot, sometimes hot cannot be good. Be careful, you know. If you remember, 
a Muslim man, he uh, asked the sheikh because he have a problem. Uh, his wife, she had sex with a genie. And because she have sex with the genie, her bushes cut in fire. True story. Genie is made from fire. So imagine this woman, she is having sex with a genie. He is made from fire. She did not shave her bushes for 10,000 years. And her bushes cut in fire. I mean, this is the logic I think to happen. Who can come with this except Allah religion? Only Muslims can come with this. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Bushes, huh? Cut and fire, huh? Must be true story. Once a Muslim woman, she called the TV live on air. Too bad at that time, I don't have like software to record. And she, she called him. Obviously, she is like, you know, she is playing games with the sheikhs. Two sheikhs. And she said, uh, Salaam Alaikum. You know? Uh, the sheikh said, Walaikum well, as sister, how I can help you? said, uh, my sister told me that when I take off my clothes in the front of the uh, fish tank, uh, the fish, they start shaking. The sheikh, <coughs> he took some water, he started drinking, he can't even breathe. And he's sweating. He said, <coughs> uh, uh, sister, I think those fish, sister, they have a genie. And uh, they are looking at your beautiful, pure body, sister. So I advise you not to take off your clothes in the front of the genie. Uh, the woman on the phone, she said, ah, but this is the only room I have, what I can do. The sheikh, he drank more water and he said, okay, what about you put a blanket on the top of the fish tank? So according to Muslims, the fish are masturbating. Looking at the Muslim butt. Only in Islam. Mm. Any Muhammadan? Hmm? The Islamic treasure. Last call for Muslims if they'd like to join us. Any Muslim would like to join us.
What did jihad mean? Jihad have many meaning, depend where you put it in the sentence. But jihad is coming from the word jihad, which means you give a very strong effort to do something. If you say you want to do jahid al kuffar, jahid mean fight them. So depend what you are using the word as any word in any language. As you see, all, the, all of this is the word jahid, you jahid. All right? Simply is to give the maximum effort you can to fight against the disbelievers. All kind of effort. So the word jihad is depend where you put it. It can be about giving money to Muhammad to make an army, or it can be about join the army and kill by yourself. Depend. You see, all of those is about jihad. O Prophet, do jihad against the disbelievers and the hypocrite, and be severe against them. So here we are talking about what? About physical, physical attack. CP, you are yawning? No, I did not yawn. You have a, I guess, shaitan, he pisses in your ears, so you hear weird stuff. Where it does say in the Bible, the, 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 in the Quran, the Bible is true, or the Quran. Chapter 241, Chapter 289, uh, Chapter 291, Chapter 297, Chapter 2, Verse 101. <laughs> it's all over the Quran. Chapter 3, Verse 3. It's all over. Chapter 381, 447. Endless. However, we don't take what Muhammad saying as a reason to believe in the Bible. Muhammad himself is a liar. So we don't trust the Bible because Muhammad says so, but because the Bible is so, is it true. Muhammad is a fraud. He used the Bible so he can deceive you, which mean he claimed that he agreed with it in order to give him approval. Like if somebody want to make a speech in your, in your church, you will not give him a speech if he says to you, I am a Hindu. The Bible forbid us from doing that. Or he is a Muslim, or he is uh, etc. So he claimed that he believed in it. So you can give him, allow him to betray the society and then he can fool many Christians if he could. Any Muhammadan? Any Muslim would like to join us? Mayday, mayday. Last call. Call me now and make a goal. Why Muslim want Sharia? Who said so? 
show me one Muslim country want Shia, Sharia. If Muslim they want Sharia, why didn't have it? <laughs> My friend, you say, I don't know where you get these questions from. Muslims, if they want Sharia, okay. Can you name for me one Muslim country they practice Sharia law? If we can call it Allah, nobody. They don't practice it in their own countries, where the majority are 90 or 99 percent. Who is the one who show you? Nobody. When ISIS, they occupy territory in Syria, as soon as they lost the ground, all the population share, you know, shave their beard, play music, women wear a skirt. <laughs> in one day, Yeah, what do you mean you don't know? Like, do they practice Sharia in Saudi Arabia? Go right now and type nightlife in Saudi Arabia. Festival in Saudi Arabia. In Qatar. Nightclub. In Dubai. In Saudi Arabia. Nightlife in Morocco. Tunisia. Algeria. Prostitution. I mean, when people, they say things, it sounds weird because if Muslim, they really like Islam, and they are the, the president is a Muslim, Muslim not like here, you know. In the White House, we we have a guy is an Antichrist. The one before him is a fake Christian. The one before him is a Muslim, Obama. So, they have a real Muslim. The ministers are Muslims. The prime minister is Muslim. The king is a Muslim. But nobody wants Sharia law. Which country when they have Sharia law? Even Taliban don't have Sharia law. What Sharia I mean? I mean, I don't know. You say weird stuff, Brian. What are you talking about? So you say, why Muslim want Sharia Allah, but now you do not know what Sharia Allah is? Are you, are you asking me to block you? You should ask the first question first, what Sharia Allah? Then you say to me, why Muslim want Sharia Allah? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you playing dumb or you are dumb? Any Mohammedan? All right, looks like we are done for today. Uh, and we hope that we uh, I would try to come tomorrow, if I could. But you guys, you have to invite me some Abdul. And I want to say thank you for those who invited us, those Abdul, to join us. Who is the one who invited this Abdul from Germany? Who is the one in, uh, in Discord who invited this guy? Any one of you invite Muslims to come and debate me, I say to you, thank you. Because the whole point is to show people how stupid Islam is. Muslim, they claim knowledge as long as they speak to an ignorant. And that's very normal. They give you some Arabic words. They themselves don't speak Arabic. And you do not know what they are talking about. So they, they try to make you believe that they have knowledge. And they are educated in their religion. But in reality... The biggest sheikh in history, he has zero knowledge of what Islam is about. Do you remember when the Muslim, he was debating Ibn Abbas about the bird? Anyone remember? Who remember the story? The stupid Muhammad, he copied legions Legions of the Jews, legions of anyone. So if you go to chapter 27, verse number 20, imagine there is a king, his kingdom, his army, start in Jerusalem and in Baghdad. 
For sure, at that time, there was no Baghdad, but in the Babylon. This is how long his army. Massive. Millions and millions. The army of Suleiman, according to the Quran, include birds, genie, and a human. And now the king, he checked the birds. So how many birds he have? We don't know. One billion? He found one bird is missing. Uh -huh. Look how sharp the eyes of this king, Suleiman. He can count his chicken by one look. One bird is missing. He said, where is this bird, huh? Surely I will be punishing him. Okay. Now you go and read the interpretation, you will die laughing. So the story says that Ibn Abbas trying to explain that this bird, he was the minister of irrigation and he find water under the ground. So a Muslim guy who is not really convinced, he said to Ibn Abbas, responding to what Muhammad said, if the bird he can see what is under the ground regarding water, how come a little kid, he can make a trap and put seed in the top of the trap, cover it by dust, and he catch, her, he catch the bird? Ibn Abbas start cursing him, may Allah make you blind. <laughs> they cannot debate. I mean, how in the world this bird he can see under the ground? You see how easy he got him busted? Are you serious? Yes, brother. This bird, he can see under the ground, brother. Prophet Muhammad says so, brother. So this Abdul, he got the other Abdul busted. Look at this story. Narrated that Ibn Abbas, uh, he said he was expert who used to, uh, to show Suleiman where the water was if he is, was out in the open, in the open land and need water. The hoopoe would look for water for him in various uh, strata of the earth just as a man look at thing in the surface of the earth and he would know just how below the surface the water was when the hubu showed him where was the water Suleiman would command the jinn to dig in this place until they thought they brought the water from the from the depth of the earth okay so Suleiman, he says, where is this uh, bird? I can't see him. He will not punish him. And here it says, one day, a guy's name is Abdullah ibn Abbas. Told similar story among the people was a man from Al-Khawarij. Khawarij is the one who don't, like he explained, they oppose Islam. Who his name is Nafi ibn Al-Azraq. Who often used to rise objections to Ibn Abbas he said to him stop stop Ibn Abbas you will be defeated in argument today okay Ibn Abbas said why 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 Nafi Nafi said you are telling us that the hoopoe can see water beneath the ground but any boy can put seed in a trap and cover the trap with dirt and the hoopoe will come and take the seed so the boy can catch him in the trap. <laughs> Ibn Abbas, instead of refuting him, look what he did. Ibn Abbas said, if it is not the fact that this man would go and tell others 
that he had defeated Ibn Abbas in argument. I would not even answer. So now he's going to answer. Look at the answer. So he said to Nafi'a, we to you when the decree strike a person his eyes become blind and he lose the old cushion and after he said oh no okay 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 forget the guy start cursing do you see how the debate the guy got him busted muhammad he claimed that the bird can see under the ground the guy he asked very logical answer well, if he can't see into the ground, how come he can't see the trap? We make a trap, we cover it by dirt, we put seed, the bird come to it, and we catch him. So how this bird can see deep inside the earth, yet he cannot see few millimeter under the dirt? I don't know, maybe we have a Muslim, let us see. Hello? Peace of a Christ, my friend. I was wondering, I had some questions for you. I'm not a Muslim, by the way. But well, if you don't have anyone who wants to talk, I might ask my questions. No, I want I want a Muslim. Maybe next time I come online because my voice is getting tired, really. I thought you were a Muslim. Okay. So I get tempted. Uh, no worries. I get tempted. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. All right. Okay, take, get, okay take care. Right. Yeah, I get tempted, actually. I, I'm, I'm leaving a long time ago. But I said to myself, oh, oh, we got Abdul. We cannot leave. We cannot leave. I mean, they are rare these days. You cannot find them anywhere, not even in the museum. You know? But they claim he is the one who brought the Muslims from Germany. Oh, okay, thank you, my friend, for bringing the Muslim from Germany. All right, guys, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. I will close now. I will try to come back tomorrow if I could. Maybe at night tomorrow if, if I could, if my voice get better. So until I see you again, God is good, so is Jesus, and Islam is always defeated, and you are my witness. So witness, and share, and tell it everywhere.